Hey everyone, I've been promising this video for a while now. I've had quite a lot of messages all about shading, how to achieve smooth blends. Uh, this is really one of the holy grails of uh, tattooing to achieve those really smooth blends because once you uh, crack this, um, it opens so many doors um, and so, man so many things that you can do um, with your work. Um, this video is going to be an analogy like all my videos and it's going to show you the actual technique behind how we achieve these smooth blends. So instead of me just shading something and then going, there you go, I'm going to actually show you how um, to move your hand and um, pressure to apply and so on. So for this video I'm going to be using Silverback 666 series. I'll probably do a, a review on this, it's really good ink. Now I'm going to do two lines of shade for this example first. The first one's going to be um, the right technique and how to achieve the, the, the smooth blends. And the second one is going to be what um, people new to the trade might be doing, mistakes that they're making. And you'll see as I'm doing it, you'll probably not notice any difference in what I'm doing, but you'll see two different results. And I'm going to explain where you're probably going wrong when we get further into the video. So I'm using a Cheyenne pen for this, and I've just got a 9 curved mag hooked up to the machine. You can see that. Okay. Wipe that off. With Vaseline on, as you would with skin. And this is a little bit of practice skin by a company called Real Skin. Uh, I've got a review of uh, quite a few of their products on my videos. If you want to check them out, just search my videos, subscribe to my channel. I'm just going to feather this out. Okay, so there's the first piece of shade that I've laid down. And you can see there's no real start to it, there's no real end to it, it just sort of feathers off. Um, a little bit darker in the middle, and as we come to the sides, it just sort of feathers off, and that's all around it as well. It's, it's, it's soft all around the edges. So, you'll probably not see much difference um, as I'm tattooing this second piece, but you'll notice a massive difference in uh, the results. So this is probably the mistake that you're making in this second example um, if your shading is not smooth enough. Okay, so I've exaggerated this slightly just so you can see the difference in the two, but basically, I mean, it doesn't take a genius to work out that this is rough, choppy, it's not very nice, it's quite mottled, and this is nice and smooth. So let's take a look at the actual technique of what I'm using now, and I'm going to explain this with a piece of paper and a pencil, and you can actually practice this technique with paper and pencil, which is really handy because you don't have to set up all your machine and everything, you can just practice it in your spare time. Pull this out of the way. Okay, so imagine this pencil is my machine. When we're um, shading, to achieve these really smooth blends, um, 
more often than not, what I find people doing is when when they don't know how to shade um, properly, is uh, to start with they go in too hard with the machine, okay, and they're quite robotic with the movement, so that you know they're, they're seeing people shading, they're like, okay, I can do this. And what they tend to do is they're, they're putting the machine into the skin first, moving um, the machine across, and then pulling up. Um, go a bit closer on that so you can see. And again, this is this is really rough and it's really exaggerated, but I'm just trying to get the point across of what's happening when people are getting that choppy look to the shading and it's not smooth. So again, what they're doing is that they're going in like this with the machine, from this point, going across, and then lifting out. And all you're gonna get um, when you do this is basically this. Um, that, that, that's exactly what I was doing when I was doing that with the machine. Even though it looked like I'm, I'm going like this, I'm, I'm basically I'm having an in point, coming across and having an out point, quite robotic like this. And that is not how you shade, guys. So the key to getting nice, smooth um, blends with your shade is, is to first picture the skin as a runway, okay? So let's say this is someone's arm. Okay, I'm looking at it sideways on, so um, the needles like coming in like this and let's picture this as a runway okay so when a plane comes in to land on a runway it doesn't come like this stop in the air drops down you know and then it wants to take off again so it goes along the runway stops and takes off everybody knows that a plane doesn't do that a plane comes in and it glides down nice and softly kisses the runway and it wants to take off again, it travels along and takes off like that. It's a nice smooth sweeping motion and what we achieve when we do this um, we, we start to achieve, we start to build up the shades in the skin. Now you're never gonna get um, your desired shade with one pass. Um, not that I find anyway, personally. Um, so what I do, I, I build the shades up. So if, if I've got a medium shade and I'm just building up in the skin, you know, I'll give it a few passes, then I'll wipe off, see where I am, and then I'll do a few more. And that's also another mistake that people make. They, they, they try to hit the shade that they want first time. So let's say I'm aiming for, just for example, A shade like this okay so this is this is on my reference image this is the color I'm trying to achieve now when I do a pass with my machine if I, if I was going to shade this this color what I do is I'd do some passes like this don't forget this 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 plane landing and taking off okay so it's like a nice sweeping motion nice and soft there's, there's, there's no stopping and starting here this is all gliding into the skin softly into the skin and out the skin okay now, if I was to achieve this shade on the skin, what I'd do is I'd do a few passes, nice and light, and then I'd wipe off, okay? Then I'd check my reference image and say, okay, this isn't the shade of this. That's okay, I'll do a few more passes, so I'll dip into my ink, and I'll go again. And it's about layering into the skin and building up these shades, and then you wipe off again, and then you keep doing this, until you achieve um, the same shade as your reference image. Now, if I was to look at this and go into the skin and say, right, I want, I want to hit this shade with a couple of passes, what you'd get is, is this. You, you, you're starting to use this robotic motion again. And then go into the skin and go, right, okay. There. I've gone darker than the, the than the reference anyway this time and as you know with tattooing you can go darker but you can't go lighter if you've gone too dark then you could be in a bit of trouble or failing that you're gonna to have to darken your whole image to compensate for it so shading is not only about this soft technique but it's also about being very aware of your reference image and building up those layers getting that nice soft technique down and you notice when you look at the pros tattooing, you know, um, sometimes they'll, they'll be shading away, they'll wipe off, and it looks like there's nothing there at all. And that's because they're very, very cautious, and they've got really, really subtle tones and, you know, slightly different shades in there. They have to be really, really careful. So what they do is they, they, they layer gradually and gradually until they achieve the shade they want. And by doing that, it's a lot safer, um, and you've got a lot less chance of going wrong. Um,
So I'm just going to touch on the technique again about this sweeping motion. I can actually show you what you're aiming for. So let's just zoom in a bit there. Okay, now this is the wrong technique. This is the thing where I'm stopping and starting, okay? So if I was going to pull a shade like this, the wrong technique, the line would look something like this. And what I need you to really focus on there is the fact that you see the tips of these lines, they're not tapered, which says to me the machine has gone in, dropped into the skin, moved along and come straight out. Okay, and what, what happens is you get these almost square ends to your, to your line, to your needles. Now, when you shade in and you, you shade in softly, you need this again imagine a plane coming down touching on the runway kissing it and taking off again you need this sweeping motion like this so now if I zoom in on the lines that I've just done you'll notice I can just get the camera right there on the very tips of the lines just get that to focus you see how they're tapered Okay, so they don't start like this where it's just a solid square um, end to it. They sort of gradually come in to the line and then it follows all the way down and at the end they just taper off. Now look at the difference between this one and this one. You can see that one, it's just, it's come there and it's, it's come out of the skin. This one, it's just gently taken off and you get that taper effect. So basically um, what's happened is Instead of having a line like this with this big chunky end, you've got this going on. And that's the difference. And this is the difference between soft shade and really rough looking shade. And it's about this technique of this sweeping motion, nice and soft. You imagine you're painting on someone's skin and there's quite a lot of finesse to, to shade in. You, you know, you can't have like this big robotic um, wrist that's going in really hard in the skin. You've got to be really soft. Um, and I, I, like I've said before, a common mistake is people think the ink's not going in because they've done a couple of passes, they've wiped off. So they think, okay, I'm just going to drill it in harder like this. And, and all you're going to achieve is just this blotchiness and it's not going to be nice, it's not going to be soft. Um, so if you bear in mind, like I say, the analogy of a plane coming down, gently touching on the runway and then taking off again, that's what you want your needles to be in the skin. Coming down, tiny bit of pressure there, then it's landing and then taking off. And if you do that, you should achieve some nice soft shades. So, hope this has helped some people out. If you've liked this video, guys, don't forget, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to my channel. We've got loads of videos coming soon. Don't forget to hit that like button if I've helped any of you out. And I'll see you in the next videos. Cheers, guys.